Welcome to Chicago from the Globe guys and in this video we're taking a look at the world's first and currently only Virgin Hotel. The Virgin Hotel is situated right in the heart of Chicago, just a few minutes walk away from the Magnificent Mile and here's Ivan to take you on a tour of the room that we stayed in. Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, Virgin Hotel in Chicago. Come in. So this is a quite a funky hotel. It's the only Virgin Hotel in the world currently. Um, and for some reason they picked Chicago. So that's a, that's a first place for one, so which is good. So we're in uh, a chamber suite, um, which is quite funky to say the least, a bit different. So let me show you around. Okay, so we have a bit of a, a seating area here. Um, get a nice couch and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, you also get this kind of area over here. Um, quite an unusual chair. First I thought it maybe did something, but it doesn't. I think it's just for show, but it's quite good. What else you've got as well, so you've got, you've got a mini bar, so we've got the way so you can see it. All right, you've got a safe in there. Okay, and then on this side, you've got tea and coffee, and ice bucket and glasses, stuff like that. It's all nice. And then the fridge, quite an unusual fridge, bit different, but good. Fully stocked, ready for us to use if we wanted to. All right, so that's the mini bar. So let's move into the next room. So, so you come out of the lounge area into the bathroom area. So nice big bathroom. You've got double sinks. Um, you know, and you can't see the view now because it's dark obviously, but it's, it's actually quite good views. Um, you've got wardrobes over here, so you've got ironing board, you've got umbrellas, you've got iron obviously, you've got a couple of bathrobes, um, but certainly lots of space as well. And you've got a nice little chair so you can take a seat, do whatever you want to do. I'm not quite sure what you'd use that for, but maybe a woman to use it for makeup or something. And then on this side you've got the toilet. So that's all in there. And then you've got a bit of a wet, you've got a wet room here. So this is all quite good. So big rain shower. All right, bit of a seat you can sit down on. Um, you've got some toiletries as well. So we've got some body wash, some conditioner and shampoo. Okay, and not forgetting, obviously, a little Oh, it's a sheep actually, so... Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's the shower area. And then finally, you move into the bedroom. So, nice big double bed. Again, a bit funky, so... Unusual design. You know, it's nice. The door, I'll show you the doors in a minute. So you've got TV here. Alright, a bit of a work desk, workstation here. I think that's a, that's, that's a, that's a speaker. I should imagine connected that with Bluetooth, so that's good. Alright, another chair to lounge out on. And then you've got the view, so I don't know if you can see down there, he's got a train coming in. So we're right overlooking the L, the world famous Chicago L. And that's a loop train that you're seeing actually going past now. So a great view. Also you've got the skyscrapers and everything as well. So that they'll come out at night, but we'll show you them in the daytime anyway. But it's really nice location actually, and it's a great view that actually. So you've got the, you've got doors that kind of separate the rooms. So you know, obviously you've got your privacy there for the bedroom. And likewise, coming through into here, so you can close off the bathroom completely there. So you you got your privacy if you wanted it. Um, and that's the room. So, you know, we've literally only arrived about 10 minutes ago. So we're going to unpack, well actually no, we're not going to unpack actually. We're just going to jump in the shower, 
because um, we've been traveling for quite a while. We're hungry, so we want to get something to eat, so we're going to go out and have maybe some Chinese or something, uh, something quite local. We're pretty central, so there's loads of things around about, which is really good. So that's handy if, if you're new to the city, you've got literally a load, a load of stuff right on your doorstep, it seems. So that's it. So first impressions of this hotel are really good. Um, and we're looking forward to staying here. So this is a lobby of the Virgin Hotel. It's quite a small lobby and it lacks the atmosphere that we like from hotel lobbies, but it's still very hip and very befitting of the Virgin brand. Adjacent to the lobby you've got 203 which is the coffee and wine bar and then on the first floor you have the Commons Club which is a great bar where you can have dinner, have drinks, they also have DJs on certain nights of the week and every night, I think between 6 and 7 I think it was, they do complimentary drinks if you're a resident at the hotel. Now it's quite a restricted bar menu but there's still beers, wines, uh, cocktails and spirits on there. It's a great way to end the day sightseeing. Meanwhile, for breakfast, we ate in Miss Ricky's, which is also adjacent to the hotel. Hey everybody, so this is Miss Ricky's Diner. It's attached to the Virgin Hotel here in Chicago. And it's about to have breakfast as well. So we've uh, ordered off a very extensive menu. Yogurt parfait, buttermilk pancakes for me. What are you having? Avocado toast. Good morning, oh, there you go. I got it. Oh, okay. Okay, because I'm going to add them. It's oh. not the most stable. Oh, right. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Parfait on the glass I have. That's, <laughs> That's great, thank you. Thank you, enjoy. Cheers. So, yeah, we had this yesterday morning, it's really nice as well. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, yeah, looking forward to this. And uh, yeah, so, see you in a bit. And if you had a big breakfast and you can work it off here, the hotel has a gym, and by hotel standards, it's well equipped and it's pretty big as well. So what is the Globe Guys verdict on the Virgin Hotel Chicago? Well it's certainly got an edgy feel to it and it definitely screams a Virgin brand with something that is very different to other hotel chains. The hotel staff are very engaging, pleasant and friendly. The room was just very different but in a good way. However nice some other hotel brands may be, their rooms can be quite identical. Whereas here the rooms scream Virgin and I don't think that is necessarily because everything is red. Would we stay here again? Definitely. And it would be interesting to see which other destinations Virgin Hotels move into next. Remember you can follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. But for now from the Globe guys, thanks for watching.